Hey. Hey, there you are. You're still here, huh? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to talk to you. I thought you said you're going to be right back. Yeah, well, you know, th things didn't go so well with Ian. Wait, what do you mean? What, what, Ian, what things? You didn't even tell me why you left so fast. Yeah, um, come, come here. What is it? Sounds See, I, I think I figured out why the hot spring didn't cure Ian the same way it did your mother. And good, no, good. Wait, wait, wait a second. Don't, don't get too excited. See, the reason is that Ian has to feed. And since uh, that's obviously not a, really an option for him. Wait, so then he would be stuck being a vampire? Yeah. And uh, see, that's not the worst of him. Because he, he's not going to be able to fight his instincts forever. Pretty soon he won't have a choice and he's just going to give in to them. Ian, I don't understand. So if we... We cure all the other vampires, then. So this whole nightmare is just gonna start all over again. So what, what's the answer? Ian made me promise him that I would slay the last standing vampire in Fort Charles. You mean? Yeah. You know, it's funny. I, I spent so much of my life alone, I wouldn't even know what it was like to have a best friend. I figured out today that I've got one. I've had one for a while now. I just might have to try to stake through his heart. I pray you're right, Lucy. I pray this works. Carmen, hi. How's Christina? Did you did you tell her she has to eat those little carrot thingies whether she wants? What do you mean, your dad picture of it? It's not, it's not Scott's night tonight. He knows. Kevin picked, what? Ke Kevin was there? Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh my God. Ian! That's really good. This is fun, Daddy. Oh, just waiting your mommy gets here. That's when the fun really begins. What mistake? I was wrong. To try to create you from living. To pull you two apart the way I did. You don't want me anymore. Oh, no. No, I do want you. But I want you the way you were before. The way you were when we first met. I want Olivia. I want her to be whole again. No. No, I'm, I'm sorry. That's not gonna happen. It's never... It's never gonna happen. Not ever. I don't understand. You think you can just snap your fingers and have everything go back to the way it was? That's that's impossible. What's done is done. I'm my own person now. I know you are. And I'm, I'm a good person. People love me. You love me. At least I thought you did. I do love you. You gave me back the best part of me. I restored your soul. But you're scared. 
You, you turned your back on the dark side, and that frightens you. Tess. Oh, my God. And that's the way, Caleb. I don't blame you for being afraid. This is all so new to you. You're looking at the world with completely different eyes now. And that must be so terrifying, but don't worry. I am here, and, and we'll get through this together. And little by little, you'll be able to accept the man that you've become and, and even embrace him. But you, Tess. you don't have to erase me, Caleb, please. Just stop! Don't... Listen to me. Listen to me. I do love you. I love you. It's because of that love. It's because of what you've taught me and what you've shown me about myself that I have to make this decision. What decision? I... I tried to change Livy into something that she wasn't. And then she tried to destroy me. You're trying to change me into something I'm not. Something that I don't want. Her soul was this dark thing. And yours is pure light. But it's the two of you together that I am in love with. You do want to erase me. I'm not good enough for you. That's not true. I'm trying to restore you to your best self. That's what you did for me. But I, th I thought, I hoped. I never meant to hurt you, Tess. I know that seems hard to believe right now. All I'm trying to do is do what's best for all of us. What's best for all of us if you would have left Livy alone in the first place? Why did you have to do this to us? Why, why couldn't you just leave us alone? Lucy! I look at that, probably scared her off. Just as well. I gotta do this alone. Hi, Mommy. Hi. How are you? Are you okay? Uh-huh. You are? Hey, awesome. look who's here. Just in time. Hot cocoa? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, no hot cocoa for us. Uh, we're just going to be leaving. No. You just got here. What do you want? Honey, why don't you go and finish our surprise for Mommy, okay? Okay, Daddy. Wait till you see, Mommy. How dare you? How dare you involve Christina in all of this? And what? Okay. Okay, just tell me what it is you want. What sick game are you playing now? A game, a game, a game. A game. Uh, today? Well, I guess we could call it Truth or consequences. Truth in what? Well, I know the truth about Ian being a vampire. So, Lucy, I guess it's time for you to suffer some consequences. I knew you were going to try and do something. I've just wondered what took you so long. A good plan takes time, Lucy. You have to think these things through. If you actually think I'm going to stand here and listen to your psychotic ramblings, you're crazier than I thought. I'm going to go get Christina, and I'm leaving. No, you're not going anywhere, Lucy. If you want Christina back, you'll leave your feet right where they are and listen to what I have to say. You know no court in the world would ever give you custody. Who says I'd ask for it? But that's not to say that you wouldn't lose her. What the hell are you talking about? Do I have to paint you a picture? Self-proclaimed slayer, mistress to a real live vampire. I don't know a court in the world that wouldn't find you unfit. Why are you doing this? You really gonna ask me that? <laughs> I guess I have to take a trip down memory lane. Or can I just sum it up by reminding you how you've turned your back on me? How you humiliated me? You did that to yourself. I lost everything, Lucy. My wife, my kids, my job. That's no 
not my fault. It's precisely your fault. You did this to me, Lucy, and now you're going to help me put it all back together again. And I refuse to be the one who keeps losing time and time again. Well, I, re I refuse to stand here and listen to your stupid empty threats. Empty threats? Have a listen. Okay, all right, so we, we've got it. We found Caleb's secret stash. What does that mean? What do we do with this now? Legend says that this water was used to heal, right? It almost made people feel reborn. Okay, yeah, so what? So, Caleb, he, he made a special cocktail out of it, using Chris's special formula to hide the That's power enough. urge Turn to feed, off. among other things. I wonder what a judge would think about a mother who believes in vampires and the magic pools that heal them. I could explain all that. Well, I'm sure you could. But how do you explain these? Yeah, that's a little bit tougher, isn't it, Lucy? I mean, come on, let's face it. You got caught red-handed. No pun intended. Stealing blood from a hospital. <gasps> now, don't look so glum. You don't have to lose Christina. There is another option. What? What's another option? Now I have your attention. Have a seat. What? is it that you want? Well, it's simple, really. You come back to me as my wife. And I mean my wife in every sense of the word. Or I will make sure that you never get near your children again. <gasps> There's gotta be some other way to this, then. I wish I could find it. I mean, it's horrible enough just even thinking about losing Ian. I mean, he's sort of like a, a part of our family. But but then to, to think that maybe you would be the one to... No, I mean, this has gotta be killing you. I don't know. The Slayer in me knows that it's the only way to end this once and for all. Well, what about the other part of you, the friend part? I'm not even sure if I can do it. I mean, you know, I, I was trained to fight evil in Ian, despite what he's become. He's still a really good person. I mean, he's got his heart. Right, but I... I, I promised him. You know, he, he's counting on me to come through for him. I promised him I would do it, and that's, that's the only thing that's keeping him going right now. And, uh, this is stupid. I'm feeling sorry for myself, and he's the one going through hell. Has anybody even told Lucy? Nope. Hey, this will destroy her. I have an answer. I finally figured out a way that I can get rid of these blood-sucking monsters, and I can't save the one who still has a soul. Um, this is it. I've done all I can. So please, God, let this cure work for me. I want to be a good father to my son. I want to have a life with Lucy. I'm going to keep fighting. And that's where we're going to be found there again. All right? Whatever happened. Make sure they know how much I love them. When you do this, you created a person, a separate identity with a heart and feelings and thoughts of her own. You, you can't change your mind as if I were nothing. It's too late, especially after everything we've been through, after you've held me in your arms and you've, and you've made love to me. How can you 
You look me in the eyes and tell me I'm a mistake. You are not a mistake. It was my mistake to try to divide you. You were wonderful when you were whole. And that's what I want back again. What you want is to make me disappear? No. What I want is for you to let Livy back in. Because I love you both. Both parts of you. And they belong together. I can't help you. I need you to help me. Because I can't reach Livy anymore. The Livy that I first met. And I would give anything to have her back, anything. of all conscience, and not for your Olivia, and not for Tess, who wouldn't want you to be who you are. You had to ask for the real person. And the good, and the bad, the selfish. The whole person. It's time to come home, Lucy. It's time to leave Ian and come home and be a wife to your husband. Never. Okay. Say goodbye to motherhood. It's fun while it lasted, though, wasn't it? You really are a heartless son of a bitch. Hey, I brought Christina back to you. I can take her away again. But on the bright side, it's your call. Hey! Oh, come, Daddy. Just see him with the kiss. Okay. Mm. Open it, Mommy. Me and Daddy made it for you. That's right. We sure did, didn't we? Ooh. Daddy says we're gonna be a family again. You bet we are. Did you tell Ian yet, Mommy? Did you? Goldilocks. Please. I finally have you. The other half of my soul. And together, nothing can stop us.
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Surrender. Port Charles. I take you. And I take you, my love. Yeah! Come on, man, yeah! Don't come any closer to me. Come on, Leslie. I'm done. Don't force me to do this, please. The stars, the glamour, the catfights. No other award show can compare to SoapNet's 2003 Soap Opera Digest Awards Live. Tune in Saturday, April 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific and watch your favorite soap stars beat out the competition. It's only on SoapNet, so don't miss it.